you just here? She is King Volacek's younger sister. Uh, you want to learn to make your own chocolate bar? You don't stick with what is considered normal for most things? I can't say I have very much interest in learning to make my own chocolate bar, but I would love to be able to make beef jerky. One of my roommates in college bought a, a, like a beef jerky dryer thing, but he never used it. Uh, during the time, so I never got to try it out. See if it was it would actually be a worthy investment. I 100% do not like paying uh, like eight dollars, twelve dollars for this, you know, tiny, tiny little bag, like like that big of of beef jerky. And it's not like the the whole bag is filled with beef jerky either. It's like third of the bag has like beef jerky and it's just like little strips it's not like it's filled up a third of the way it's just like yeah we're just gonna put in a little bit you know really obnoxious you're a vegetarian so no beef for you i greatly admire the the fortitude and tenacity and the sheer willpower that vegetarians and to many extents vegans actually have to maintain that type of uh, diet slash living style. Um, the, uh, I have a friend who is a vegetarian, uh, Brains. I, I think he's been on stream a couple of times. Um, we played like Overwatch and things like that. Um, and he's a vegetarian. Um, and for me, I, I tried a vegetarian eating style, I guess, for a week once, and I really, really liked it, because I already eat, like, a ton of vegetables. I really like eating onions, you know, I like bell peppers, and, and cilantro, and mushrooms, and, you know, all kinds of vegetables like that. I already, already eat that stuff. So it wasn't like that much of a stretch just to be like, well, you know, I'm just stop eating meat, you know, no, no problem. Uh, and I would have kept it up for a lot longer than a week, except it turned out to be very expensive for me. I, I'm not a, a light eater, I guess, or at least back then I wasn't a light eater. I I like to eat. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, there there is a line. I didn't see that. Was this here before? I don't remember this. I started being a vegetarian twenty two years ago. Oh snaps. If it was cheaper, if it well if it was cheaper for me, I I could do it. Um I think one of the things other than the cost that holds me back is the um, What's what's the the best word for this? The readyability, the uh, the accessibility of menus for the vegetarian lifestyle. So like for my new job that I'm working at, um. There's a Mexican food places all over the place. I'd probably have to go out of my way to get something that's not meat related. I mean, 
sure, I can get like a bean cheese and rice burrito or whatever, but I, I, I personally don't like beans. Uh, so I can get like a rice burrito, but, well, I, you know, and you could put some like onions in there and cilantro and like um, salsa verde maybe or, you know, I mean, like you, you, you can, you can make that, you know, be pretty tasty, but like you're going to have to put some work and some effort into getting such a, a, a meal, I guess. And I guess all things considered, that would probably be cheaper, possibly. I might have to try that. A rice and cheese burrito with all kinds of salsa in it and like onions and I might have to try that. I really like like the Mexican or the Spanish or wherever origin it comes from. They're the red rice. It's so good. So good. Well, you often ask the chef to create something. Oh, I I go to a lot of fast food places, so all I get to see is the cashier. So, be like, hmm, do you have anything vegetarian on the menu? Okay, so, so I've established that it is possible, potentially. I don't know what I'm gonna do about tacos though, because I really like tacos. Like, what am I gonna put in a taco? Well, I guess there's potato tacos, and I really do like potato tacos. I just don't know if everywhere has potato taco. I. Only had potato tacos at like two places. I guess there's vegetarian sushi too. No, this this could be possible. Giving up meat is really not that difficult of a thing, as far as like the act of doing so. There's no specific meat that I just can't live without. Taco, no clue, but you can investigate. Need a lurker on a tech call? No problem, man. Enjoy the lurk. I appreciate it. You can return to what's going on in this game. I'm doing my best to follow along. I've, I've been getting kind of lost here and there. But, uh, I don't know why we just ain't killing these two and, and uh, uh, you know, taking the magma order. I'm sure they're, they're apologizing right now. You know, I'm starting to think that at least fast food wise, being a vegetarian is probably cheaper. But if I'm going to the grocery store, you know, like, like the onions that I like to get, like the really big white onions, they're like a dollar fifty a pound or something like that. And you know, if I'm gonna cook an onion, I'm gonna cook at least half of that bad boy. I was like, okay, well, I have half an onion, all right. So what else am I gonna make with this onion? Well, I can, can get some bell pepper, get some rice. And, I don't know what what else is vegetarian like what am I gonna do with all these ingredients that I'm spending a ton of money on and that that's only for one meal too whereas I can just get a steak one steak or I don't know ten bucks but then again I'm not gonna eat the steak on its own I'll probably get some rice for that too or or uh Onion, like that. I don't know. All I can say is when I tried the vegetarian thing for a week, it was more expensive for me.
Oh, we just we just happened to get all this on the specific day of the full moon. Hauju? Isn't Hauju this... Alright, I, I missed something. What happened to Hauju? Arrange sun, moon, and matter into a pleasing hole. To reveal the path forward. Oh, I guess, I guess, I'm considered matter because I matter. So, if I stand with matter, as I matter, I can. Create the way forward. Although I guess I could have just put anything there. This is where we saw the people. In all things, there is balance. Strike one to affect the other. Strike one. Strike. Really considered striking. I feel like that's considered uh, something else. Uh, we can get. There is potential for a really nice puzzle to be made from this mechanic right here. I'm hoping that I'm not let down by this. There's a gin over there. Uh, okay, I I see how it is possible to get said gin. Clever here, but I bet you, just bet you, that if I go all the way around, he's gonna be like, oh, I'm just gonna jump right back on that one and you're not gonna get me. Uh huh, uh huh. Suck a what? Suck a what? I ain't gonna do nothing. Let's just auto attack this guy. Who's this?
front and his his undertail. Chasm. Oh, I guess I should move forward, huh? Uh I guess I didn't read Chasm, I'm sorry. Uh, some damage the party takes to the void. Sounds pretty cool. I really like Pewter. What can I do away with? That's a significant drop in stats. What is going on? Fine, I guess. I'd like to rearrange these since I'm here. Here as well. Wanna I, I want all of my attack ones in the front. Because those are the ones that I'm defaulting to the most. And then those two characters I don't care about. Uh, I should save. I don't know the last time I saved. Been, been streaming for about an hour and 20 minutes or so. Let me see. Well, I could have gone up that way. Brought me over there. Oh, I'm gonna investigate over here first. Oh, those satellite ways are probably those treasure chests. It means that I should go to those first. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure about this. Oh, yeah. Okay, some lucky pepper. Well, we got a uh, Spetta in our party, which means that uh, we have one more person to uh, put all the loot on. Oh, that, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. It's fine, though. Things I'll have to find a way down from here. Believe I see the way. I really hope they give us a room with just this puzzle. It'd be a, it'd be a good one. It'd be a good one, man. Give me something good. Eh. I guess.
Not really what I was looking for, but it'll do. Okay. Oh, oh okay. I see, I see, I see. actually a circumstance where I do want to take this path. I gotta redo all of these. Get my pen ready because there could be a nice puzzle here. the right descriptive word when there's like countless bodies in front of you that have been mutilated and and have seen the death from battle and things like that you're gonna say it's breathtaking back from your tech call, NT. Is it kind of weird that you get a tech call in the, the middle of the night? Hope you get your overtime. One of the jobs I worked at, they had uh, something called the After Hours phone. And it was a 24-hour business, but the office hours closed after a certain amount of time. So after the office hours closed, it would all the phone calls would be transferred to the after hours phone. And whoever had that phone was in charge of you know answering it and dealing with you know various emergencies and customer requests and things like that. Um Nobody ever wanted to do that because if you get an emergency over the weekend, which, you know, again, the office is, uh, well, no, the office was open on the weekends, but, oh, I didn't check out the chalice one. No, press the wrong button. Oops, I went to that kind of way. Um, you would have to call the technicians to send them out and... And it was uh, particularly obnoxious because no technician ever wanted to go out to do a particular job on the weekend. And no technician, let alone the person having the after hours phone, wanted to be woken up at 2 a.m. in the morning, go to an emergency call where nothing could be done because there's no shops that are open that could sell parts. Um, and so I did that. Uh, oh, there was a period when I was working there where uh, nobody wanted to do it. So they're like, okay, well, everybody's going to do it. And they're just, you're just going to rotate uh, a week every week. You know, we'll give it to the next person. So I did it for a week and I got three calls. And they're all super simple, easy calls, and I was so happy. I didn't have to deal with any bullcrap. You help US friends, but live in Europe, you don't get paid at all. 
Sorry to hear that, man. Sorry to hear that. What's the next move? Angry face. You're not much use in battle? So, all right, all right. I need to set down the controller here, and I need to I need to talk about Ryuko, Ryuku, all right? We are some really powerful adepts, okay? This guy has seen us be really powerful, okay? We defeated the mountain rock. Uh, we climbed this mountain. We destroyed countless monsters. He's, he's seen us in battle, and he knows we're not to be trifled with. So here we are inside the mountain rock, and he's like, I have the mountain orb. The mountain orb is mine. And then he just uses that as leverage to where we don't kill him, get the magma orb back, and whatnot. Like... Where does, where does that courage come in where he can step up to us, but right here, he cannot step up to our enemy? That's some bullcrap. Moving on. Alright, what do we got here? Use the conjured hand to smash the dark king with the light soldier. And open the way. this one more time. Use the conjured hand to smash the Dark King with the Light Soldier and open the way. Kind of confused. Interesting. I see what's going on here. I'm glad I went this way first. Didn't kill him. Okay, so if I go over one, then up, be a yes. You want that treasure chest, though. Looks like chess. Eh, kind of, I guess. I guess it's a little less clever. Uh, and the current issue you help with is to set up high end audio equipment. Super fun, and you're not joking. Take your word for it. You have a passion for recordi recording and audio engineering. Once upon a time, I had a brief amount of interest in audio. I don't think I have the ear for it, though. Be struck down, you evil tyrant!
I am gonna go ahead and say that that was a nice puzzle. In the sense of, it was a puzzle that we haven't quite done yet, and so it was nice in that regard. But, uh, it wasn't very interesting. Also, how did the, how did Blados and Chalice get through all this? Come on. I was gonna say, where are we at with health? 